हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट इंटेस्टाइनल ग्लैंड दैट इज द लास्ट डाइजेस्टिव ग्लैंड वी अर्लियर डिस्कस अबाउट सेलाइवरी ग्लैंड गैस्ट्रिक ग्लैंड लिवर एंड पैनक्रियाज सो दिस इज द लास्ट वन इंटेस्टाइनल ग्लैंड एज इन द डायग्राम यू कैन सी देयर आर टू मेजर पार्ट्स दिस इज अबाउट क्रिप्स ऑफ लिवर को हैन एज वेल एज Bruner's gland. So intestinal gland is a collective name of these two parts: crypts of liver cohen and Bruner's gland. Crypts of liver cohen is responsible for secretion of a number of enzymes that are functional in alkaline medium. While Bruner's gland, they are responsible for secretion of mucus. So first about crypts of liver cohen. This is a very simple tubular structure that you can see and this is present throughout the small intestine in between two villi this carries four different types of cells the first one is panet cells so panet cells they found only in duodenum region their functions are not very sure but they are for secretion of lysozyme that causes phagocytosis this is about ingestion of harmful pathogenic substance by these cells and they causes their killing second one is about argentafin cells these cells secretes secretin hormone along with serotonin that is a neurotransmitter this serotonin also known as 5-HT that is 5-hydroxy tryptamine so this is very very important now the third is about goblet cells so goblet cells they are simple mucus secreting cells and the last is about enzyme secreting cells that are present in the crypts of liver cohen there is a number of enzyme which secreted by these cells for example maltase isomaltase sucrase lactase these all are for digestion of carbohydrates the next one is about amino peptidases and dipeptidases that is for protein digestion the next one is about nucleotidases and nucleosidases that is for nucleotides as well as nucleoside digestion the next one is about intestinal lipase this is for lipid digestion and one that is very very important this is about enterokinase this one never playing a direct role in any kind of digestive activities but involved in activation of other enzymes the second part of intestinal gland is bruner's gland so bruner's gland as you can see in the diagram this is found only and only in submucosa of duodenum as we know duodenum is the first part of small intestine that is c or u shape in structure bruner's gland also opens in the crypts of liver cohen they secretes mucus along with a number of salts the overall secretion of intestinal gland this is called intestinal juice or succus entericus so we discuss about a number of secretions like a number of enzymes mucus salts all this forms succus entericus or intestinal juice there is nearly 2 to 3 liter succus entericus secretion occurs per day in an adult body while nature wise this is alkaline its ph is nearly 7.8 so the same detail further given here this is about intestinal gland so as we discuss intestinal gland is a collective name for the structures which are present here like crypts of liver cohen that secretes a number of enzymes which are functional in alkaline medium and bruner's gland that will secrete mucus crypts of liver cohen is a simple tubular structure that is present throughout the small intestine in between the villi these villi are finger like projections which is projected out from the innermost layer of alimentary canal 
इन इंटेस्टाइनल रीजन क्रिप्ट ऑफ लिवर को हैन कैरीज फोर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ सेल्स फर्स्ट पैनेट सेल्स सो पैनेट सेल्स दे आर फाउंड ओनली ऑल्सो इन ड्यूडेनल रीजन एंड देयर फंक्शन एज वी डिस्कस इज नॉट वेरी श्योर बट दे सीक्रीट्स लाइसोजाइन दैट इज एंटी बैक्टीरियल सब्सटेंस एंड पैनेट सेल्स कॉजेज फैगोसाइटोसिस दैट इज अबाउट इंजेशन ऑफ पैथोजेनिक सब्सटेंस एंड देन दे आर किलिंग द सेकेंड वन इज आर्जेंटाफिन सेल्स सो दीज सेल्स सिंथेसाइज सिक्रीटिन हॉर्मोन along with serotonin serotonin is a neurotransmitter this also known as 5 ht that is 5 hydroxy tryptamine the third cell is goblet cells they are for secretion of mucus that will helpful in lubrication as well as easy passage of food material in intestine and the last one is about enzyme secreting cells so these cell secretes a number of enzymes like maltase isomaltase sucrase lactase they all are for digestion of carbohydrate amino peptidases dipeptidases they are for digestion of proteins nucleotidases nucleosidases these are the enzymes for digestion of nucleotide and nucleosides respectively intestinal lipase that is for digestion of lipids or fat while enterokinase this is very unique as we discuss this never play a direct role in any kind of digestion but this one is helpful for activation of trypsinogen into trypsin that is secreted by exocrine part of pancreas and helpful in protein digestion the second part of intestinal gland is about gruner's gland these are the glands which found only and only in submucosal region of duodenum as we discuss duodenum is the very first part of a small intestine that is c or u shape in nature this also carries the connection along with pancreas common bile duct that comes from gall bladder as well as liver so bruner's gland they also opens in the cavities in the crypts of liver cohen they play a role in secretion of mucus as well as sodium bicarbonates the overall secretion of intestinal gland is known as intestinal juice or succus entericus as we discuss this carries a number of salts along with mucus and enzymes the quantity is nearly 2 to 3 liter per day in any adult person while nature wise intestinal juice or succus entericus is alkaline its ph value is 7.8 so along with all these five types of localized digestive gland that we discuss like in mouth salivary gland in abdominal region there is gastric gland liver pancreas and intestinal gland along with these the whole alimentary canal internally coated with mucus gland and these mucus gland are for production of mucus that lubricate digestive tracts and food material so this also helps not only the easy passage of food material but also causes internal protection of mucosa region from the harmful effect of gastric as well as intestinal juice now about the mcqs related with this video post that will help to find out your learnings and you have to write about your answers in comment sections with proper reason if you have about so this is question number 1 the crypts of liver cohen are present in intestine stomach esophagus or all of these second question is succus entericus is secreted by crypts of liver cohen pears patches ayurvedic plexus or bruner's gland the third one is about bruner's gland are present in stomach ileum duodenum or esophagus now about the answers related with previous video quiz that was based on pancreas so the answers are just before you you can check your answers 
if you earlier replied about the questions or if you did not see that one till now so go for seeing that particular one thanks for watching keep continue with the next coming videos